All right, guys, I had my fridge go out. The light inside still worked, so I knew something was probably wrong with the control board. I went to the back, popped off the panel, easy peasy. Looked around, I had the burn marks there on the resistor. This is my model number. Uh, and I'm thinking, okay, do I just replace the board or what do I do? Uh, those are the parts I had to order. I uh, found out that I need to replace the control board and the problem that may have caused those resistors to blow, as you saw on the motherboard, was either the evaporator fan motor and or the compressor, compressor fan motor. So I went and ordered those anyway. So I don't know, the total out the door with the board, 300 bucks for all the stuff, 350 maybe. I ordered a used backup control board from eBay for like 50 bucks, 40 bucks. So I will have that as backup. So hopefully things are good to go. Uh, things are running right here. Checking the board. This is after I jumped it. Yeah, see the brown? Those two things there around the brownness are the uh, resistors. I think the resistors, not capacitors. Resistors to the um, to the uh, fans. That's a compressor fan and the uh, ev uh, evaporator fan in the freezer. That thing, that fan is a pain in the ass to get to, to get it out and get at the motor. This is the freezer fan. You have to take all that crap out to get that back panel off. The ice maker, all the supports, blah, blah, blah. That's where their time comes in. That's what you're paying the, the uh, service guy for is to get in there and take all that stuff out. P replacing the motor right here, as you see, easy peasy. It's getting to it. Getting to these damn parts is the problem and what takes time. Uh, you just got to figure it out. Pro tip, take a video and photo before you start taking things apart. Then you remember how they go back together. But you can also go to that website. I'll put at the end, they have schematics of your fridge if they have your model serum, as you see right here. Get that. Take photos, memorize it, <laughs> and you'll use it. So, yeah, taking this stuff out of the freezer was the hard part. Then you clean up as you go. You get all that gunk off your freezer and make it look good. There is the motor. That's your little freezer motor, Panasonic. Panasonic, big daddies. All right. Everything's taken off the fridge, freezer just to get access to it. There's the bracket. And you also have the light bulb harness, which will unplug easily and you'll bend the pins very easily as you figure out how to get that backboard off. There it is on the left. Uh, go slow, do not break anything. Take your time. If something is resisting, do not force anything. You'll regret it because you have to buy a replacement part. Take your good old time. There's a the motor, gotta remove it from the bracket. There's a little tie wrap. I replaced the, the uh, wire the t um, wire wrap, the wire tie, uh, zip tie with this. The stock one was on there. I cut that, took that off. All right. I'm just I'm just eyeballing stuff now. Going okay. I got to put this thing back together using my little monkey brain. I got to figure out how do I put this back together. <laughs> and just go slow is my advice. Even when you're pulling the fan blades off the spindle on the motor, take your time. Go gentle. You do not want to break the fan blades and then have to wait and get another fan blade part. Not worth the time and effort. Just slow and steady. If you're not sure what you're doing, back away. Go look at the schematic I put at the end of the video where to get those. And to go, oh, how do I do this again? All right. Back looking at the old McMother board or the control, is control board. Those are the parts. I'm just showing you the part numbers for my fridge. Most of most of these control boards, it's GE, right? They're all built in Mexico. So I'm surprised it lasts at least 10 years. That's information. That's that's impressive as it is because most of the stuff is designed to fail. So you can hire service guys to come and fix them and or buy a new fridge like lawnmowers and that. They're not made to last. HVAC systems, they are not. They can make them to last, but they don't because they'll be out of business. All right, time for the after party. Here is the old, oh my Lord. Here's the old compressor motor, fan motor. Uh, this was a real bear to get out. Just to get at the fan, get it around all the coils and stuff. 
Uh, just the, it was just that's the hardest part is getting access to the compressor motor so I can see why service guys charge a lot and you got to be careful when you pull in those uh, connectors they will come out easily so that was stupid but anyway that's the old one it was still dirty look at that this might have been the one I don't know if this is the one that was tripping causing the motherboard capacitors or whatever they are resistors to go uh, this one was the uh, this was the here I'll show you the parts Evaporator motor from the freezer. There you go. There's that part. Panasonic. These are probably six, four, eight. Oh, wait. So 26. I'm trying to figure what I got in this house. Four, eight. Oh, my God. So maybe this fridge is nine years old. So replace both of those motors. Why did I do that? Well, I had this motherboard. This is easily, this is the most easily accessible thing on the freaking uh, fridge to change. Popped it open, found it. Oh boy, look at those. And uh, I think this top one here where my thummy is, is the evaporator motor. Bottom one is the compressor motor. And you can see that's not looking too good. And then there you go. There's some splammo. Splamo, splamo, burn marks on the board. Not a good day. I could probably replace these two and be good to go, hopefully. Um, what else? So what I did, too, is uh, you can actually... Where is my wire? What I did to make sure it was a bad board, I went through another guy's video. I should have posted it. He really helped me a lot. And uh, what you can do is you can actually jump with the connector in here. You can go to... Uh, this is the red one. And then you can jump, just short it out to see if the motors kick in. So I knew the motors still kind of worked, but it was just not starting up because I think there was probably not, uh, just not a good, not a good uh, motor connection or these motors are failing. Uh, you just don't know. They say moisture gets in these plugs. Who knows? But uh, what I did, I jumped it with the thing in the, with the board on the fridge. And I did uh, number four. And then here, I can't do it with one hand. Oh, you're good. I did this one, and then I jumped it over to four, right there, and then I did five, which is the, uh, so one, two, three, four is the evaporator motor, jump it to the last pin, and then do the next one up, jump it. I figure if I did the, uh, I found when I just jumped the evaporator motor, the compressor motor kicked in, so I didn't need to really jump the compressor motor, and bam, it would run, but then it wouldn't, uh, it would just stay running, but I think at certain times it just wouldn't keep going. Uh, so I don't know. I just replaced the board. Everything's new. Two new motors. Two new uh, new board, and we'll see if this works. Here is the part. You too can do this yourself. Uh, yeah, my God, the amount of time it took me just to figure out where to get the stuff. Because again, your first time doing this stuff, the hardest part was getting to the compressor fan motor on the back. That was a bear just to get that stupid little plastic thing out so I could work on it and get the motor out. And uh, which one was it? This one. Pain in the butt. And then while you're in there, clean it up too. All right. That's all right. And here is the site I found very useful that provides schematics for your fridge one of the best stores man i had this stuff ordered and i know they're up in the panhandle i'm in the south uh they shipped this to me my parts my two fan motors my motherboard uh controller board there's my fridge i got it in a day the next day that is my model and here's the site oh i don't even know what it is genuine replacement parts.com right there so genuine replacement parts.com thank you guys you gave me the right parts and the beauty of this whole thing is schematics. I even forgot, I was so stupid, I ripped that compressor motor apart from the assembly, and I forgot which way the brackets went right here, and uh, the diagram saved me. So if you want diagrams on your fridge, go here first, and then the beauty of this is you get the number. So right here, uh, 650 was the fan motor, compressor fan motor, and then you go down to 650. Do, 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 do. Look at this, this is, I love this site. When I buy stuff for the outboard motors, this is exactly one of the sites I go to. Uh, there's a site like this for motors, outboard, Yamaha, Mercury, and it has the same setup. You click on the diagram, and then you get the part number, and you can order it. So 650, I went too far. Yeah, right there, look at that. 650, boom. GE, you want genuine parts. 
I get nervous putting in cheap parts aftermarket. I learned the hard way on doing that on cars and boats. I just get the uh, OEM parts, man. Just get the OEM, pay the bucks, get it. You will not be sorry. These motors, I think, lasted. Let's just say we bought the house eight, six, four, eight. I'm going to say these motors lasted at least 10 years on this uh, GE fridge. Uh, then you can go add the cart. I think it was free shipping. Look at that. Touch how many are in stock. Best side I found for fridge parts. There may be others out there, but this is January Place and Parts. I have no affiliation. All I know is I had boxes delivered on my front porch the next day. Uh, uh, I think it was free shipping, but I'm in state. I mean, even though it's a from the south to the Panhandle is almost a 16 hour drive to get there. So it's it's not close. It's you could in a normal U.S. up north and it could be a couple states away based on that time difference. Uh, let's see. That is it. I got it all installed. Things seem to be running new control board and the previous video you saw that in the two fan motors. Anyway, hope this helps. There's a great YouTuber out there that saved my but all right this is your guy on youtube you want to go to for any anything this he had everything i needed to know how to use my uh tester my meter my uh voltmeter and that how to test my, my control board test the fans jump it how to jump the board just to get the machine the fridge running so my uh, stuff didn't go bad uh grace appliance my god he only has sixteen thousand subs 35 videos are you kidding me this guy has gold information man i learned more from watching his videos than i've learned in my whole life you probably learned more from watching his videos than uh going to school but this guy is hands-on tells you how to use it look at that testing replacing a defrost sensor ge board buying a french door uh where's my video let's go to videos grace appliance Oh, yeah. Clean your HVAC. I haven't done that yet. But uh, look at that. Control board. All this stuff. Manual defrost. GE board repair. You can repair your board. Like I got those bad resistors. Uh, yeah, resistors on the board. I could probably replace those. Uh, airflow. Yeah, basically, if your free fridge is dead, what to check. He went through it. Boom. Most of the time, it's a bad control board. But if there's burn marks on your control board, you definitely need to solve the problem, not just replace the board because the board will go again. And most likely he's saying it's the uh, evaporation motor in the freezer, condensation gets in there or something. I'm thinking of mine might have been the compressor fan motor. They would still work, but I think they short, you know, they definitely shorted out the board. Those resistors blew and causing a bad board. Everything else on the board worked because I was able to jump the pins to just get the thing working. Uh, but yeah, I went and replaced the fan motors, condenser, evaporator, and the uh, control board. I have a backup board coming. I found on eBay, used one, just to have it as a backup. So hopefully things are good to go. Anyway, this guy is awesome. You better go sub to him and uh, put him in your watch list in case you have any, any appliance issues. All right, hope this helps somebody, man. I just think I saved a thousand bucks. It took me three hours and uh, ordering some stuff, finding the parts is well worth it. And you learn stuff. And let's just hope it keeps running. All right. Pro tip, I just worked on the refridge, replaced the board, the fan motors and everything. To slide these big appliances around or furniture, what I do, especially wood floors and tile, just get some Windex or something like that and just spray. Spray where you're gonna slide under the legs and everything. And what that does, it just makes it 100% easier as I step on my screwdriver to push and slide this puppy back. There I'm doing it one-handed. So it just goes to show you, look at that, just one-handed to push that. This one is really not much room. And I even did the sides here because it touches some of the drywall. Again, nothing's ever square in a house. And then I push from the bottom. Look at that, doing it one-handed. Back to my stop. Oh, a couple more. Couple more. Hey, voila. There you go. Now all you gotta do is just take the rag, 
your little handy there where I can clean up your mess. Look at that. Look at that. Make your life easier. I use my feet because my feet were made for cleaning. All right, look at that. Oh my God, I just replaced the motherboard motor fans on this GE here profile blammo model number da, 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 da. GE made to break designed to break built in Mexico designed to break after a short amount of time so you buy another one because you don't know how to repair them or you pay a repairman a thousand bucks to do what I did it took three hours but Hardest part was getting the back fan off on the compressor to get at the motor. Yeah, that was fun. But anyway, there's a little pro tip on moving heavy appliances. I might put together a little video on replacing the boards and that. You can do it. Ooh, I'm out of breath. Just make sure you get the right parts and uh, budget some time. And now, let's see. Everything's working. We're getting down. It's going to start dropping. It's been off for a couple hours. And it uh, gives you a good chance also to clean out your fridge. You can hear the fans running. And that's it, guys. Oh, I'm tired. Take a break.